When you're a student, you imagine that science is all the things you know. It's the things in books, it's the facts and figures, it's the formulas. But I learned that science is actually the things we don't know. Science is the puzzles and the open questions. And scientists are the detectives trying to solve those puzzles. What drives me is, is the thrill of discovery. To be the first person in the world to really understand what is going on at a biological level, a really fundamental level. An individual came up to me and said, hey, I have this idea to fire vaccines into the skin using rockets. And I thought, that's surprising, and that really resonated with me. I have seen personally the damage what viruses can cause, but imagine if we can reprogram them and they can cure diseases. Today, leukemia is still a very common cancer particularly adults of 60 years and above, only about 10% of patients can be cured with our current treatments like chemotherapy. The brain's incredibly complicated, and despite the fact we've been studying it for a really long time, there's a lot about it that we still don't know. My love with the brain is really because of its complexity. Who we are, free will, we still don't really have a very good indication about what regulates many of those more metaphysical components of the brain. So how do we remember our past in such exquisite detail? How do we instinctively know how other people are feeling without even asking them? And I think studying the brain is a fascinating way to unlock these secrets of the human mind. This is the park's 64 metre radio telescope. There's a tower below where the actual dish part is sitting. So when you observe from here, you can feel the dish move, you can hear it move. It's just a really wonderful telescope. We know that the oceans are changing. They're changing at a rate that's faster than what we've ever known in human history. It's an amazing thing to crack open one of these cores. They go on a saw and you saw them in half and then you go and the two halves split open and there you have the history of the planet. Without a doubt, the most exciting moment was that early Sunday morning when I looked down the microscope and recognised that we'd isolated hepatitis A virus in cell culture and therefore had the potential to make a vaccine. I really hope one day my research will make a difference in improving outcomes for patients with cancer. There's 14 million deaths per year due to infectious disease. And so my vision for the nanopatch is to get more effective vaccines to more people and help save lives.